All right, so a beautiful day today, but you, you're always looking ahead into uh, what might happen. That's right, and today notable because it is the day that the National Hurricane Center releases its annual outlook for what we can expect this hurricane season. And in fact, they're predicting the most amount of storms they've ever predicted, 17 to 25 named storms. The average year sees about 14. Now of those 17 to 25 storms, they're expecting eight to 13 of those to become hurricanes, four to seven of those becoming category three storms or higher. That's a lot of storms, no doubt about it. And in fact, a pretty high confidence as well that this is gonna be an above normal season, 85% chance of it being an above normal season. Why is the confidence so high? What are the big factors? Well, most notably, uh, the above normal sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic and an above normal West African monsoon season. So that means a lot of thunderstorm clusters coming off the coast of Africa hitting this very, very warm water already near record levels in the tropical Atlantic. And so that will help to fuel and develop those storms as they track westward and into the Caribbean and towards North America. Also, currently in an El Nino, that is expected to change, a developing La Nina as we work our way through the later summer into the fall. That means less wind shear in the tropical Atlantic and into the Caribbean. So that means a more favorable setup for these storms as they approach Atlantic Canada and North America. So in terms of Atlantic Canada, you hear that number of storms, obviously that's gonna get folks a little anxious, a little nervous, especially given the last couple of years, but it's very important to remember that just because we have a high number of storms does not mean we're gonna have a high number of storms here in Atlantic Canada. Look no further than 2020. 30 named storms that year, the most on record, yet just one post-tropical storm Teddy impacted us here. The second highest uh, norm named storms uh, was 20, uh, 2005. We only had Ophelia here, which was basically a non-event. So Amy, just because we have a higher number of storms does not mean they will be, uh, we'll see a ton of storms here in Atlantic Canada. There's mm. so many factors and really it comes down to what the atmospheric setup is during the week that that storm develops and starts to track towards North America. And for that, we have to wait and see. Yes, and keep our fingers crossed. Indeed, we are, and toes <laughs> and as well. Toes. Okay, thanks, Ryan. Thank you.